and hello everyone welcome back to another review so as some of you might have heard about this msi laptop and the full name will be here because it's a little bit long but yeah some of you might have heard about this laptop and you might be wondering if this is the laptop for you and i'll be giving you my review on it from a programming standpoint as well as a few other things that i might just review as well like the sack it comes with and whatnot let's get started All right, so let's first take a look at this. So this is basically the bag they want you to put the laptop in when you take it out. So it has a nice, very nice inside. I would actually enjoy being in a bed that feels like this. It's a very nice inside, feels very expensive, which this laptop is. Uh, on the screen is the price if you want to know the price for this laptop. But yeah, it's not cheap but you'll notice with the laptop it's worth every pry every penny every cent even anyhow it then zips up and you carry it like a bag very very nice as you can see nice bags it also has a lot of space okay not a lot of space but it has space uh, so you do have some space you can use here it goes in pretty deep so this one is like a full hand deep as you may have seen and this one is okay deep and here, this is usually big enough to fit my phone, which I'm recording with, so I can't show you, but uh, this usually fits my entire phone. So it's pretty decent. I would have preferred a way I could put this over my shoulder, like with this Acer bag. I got years when I first got my laptop, my very first laptop. And you see, it's a nice bag. It has a lot of space here at the front. It has space for things on the inside, a lot of space. I would have preferred a bag like this, Primarily just because it has like this strap here, which you can use to carry it around. And if you're in a poorish country, third world country like me, then it's also nicer to have that around you instead of carrying it by hand. Because then it's a lot more difficult for someone to grab and run. They'll have to point a knife at you. <laughs> Not the best image to have. Anyhow, so... That's just the only complaint I have here is the fact that you can put it over you. You have to carry it like this, but it does feel pretty premium when you do. Let's actually take a look at the laptop. That's why we are all here. Now, this laptop I have is running both Linux and Windows because most of you will probably be using this for Windows. And here we go. So as you can see, it has Windows 11 on it pre-installed and whatnot. So as for the specs, it has an Intel i7 that is about 3.5 gigahertz up to, but it can be boosted up to 4.7 gigahertz, it has 10 cores and 12 threads, a 14 inch display, 1080p, 16 gigs of onboard RAM, which I believe means you can't just upgrade it, uh, 512 gigabytes PCIe 3.0 times four NVMe SSD. Basically just means it goes brrr, very fast. And it's 512 gigs. And we'll get to USB ports later, has Wi-Fi 6, LED backlit keyboard, this. I don't know if you can see that, but this was the make or break for me. I needed this. A backlit keyboard is so great. I would never ever work with it again. At night I work with my laptop. I don't even use my desktop at night anymore. Keyboards that has backlit is just the best. Cool. So that's about the, what you can expect from this. So that kind of tells you everything. From an input perspective, it's okay. It does have a USB type C, I believe. I don't know the different types of USB. A normal USB HDMI headphone jack, very important to me. A charging LED. So if it's, it shows you if it's charging or not. It has a little charging port as well. It also has an SD card slot, which is appreciated, and two more USBs you can use. On the bottom, yeah, you'll actually see it has a lot of ventilation here. You'll notice with the specific structure they chose for this laptop, and I'll get to the cons of the structure as well, that here at the very bottom, 
there's a little vent, a little airway. So if you're using this on a surface like this, there's enough space there for the air to go on all the other sides. You might actually hear it going a little bit loud because the fans are just kind of like that. Now, before we get to the actual programming aspects and battery life and stuff like that, one thing I do want to show you is the MSI Centro Pro software that comes installed with Windows on this. It's actually very neat. I don't like the recent update where they actually removed the option for you to manually set how loud your fans should be blowing, which is something I really wanted to show on this video, but then it updates it and then I couldn't show it on this video anymore. But here, for example, we have the user scenario and here you can decide what you want. The AI can decide for you, or you can say you want high performance, but high performance means very loud. Or you can have balanced, or you can have silent, and silent means, hey, fans, just cool down and we'll get very hot. And then you have super battery, which will extend battery life a little bit. Oh wait, never mind. here we go. Here we go. So here I can actually show you, because here I found it again, they just hit it away this time. And I can show you how loud the fans can get at maximum. Or generally it won't get this loud, but it, this is how loud it can get. Now this is about as loud as they do get. You might actually not hear it. But it, it can get very loud. Let me just say that. But generally it's silent until you start working on it. And then you just hear it most of the time. But it's okay. So it's not very silent unless you put it on silent mode. And take note, most of these settings here, they do stick even in the Linux situation. So if you tell your battery it cannot charge past 30% as an example, and you tell it in here, and you delete Windows, then you'll be a little bit screwed because then your entire laptop wouldn't ever be able to charge more than that. So it, it does set it down, or it does change the settings down on a very low level, just take note of that. So depending on the operating system you use, it will always be the same. Speaking of setting your battery life, here you get like a little choice you can use. So you have the AI charger, which switches between these three states, depending on what it thinks is best. It has best for mobility. If you're like me and you go out of your laptop and you need it to always be at max, so you have the max amount of power you can use from it. So you need a lot of time from that battery. Then you have best for mobility. You'll be able to go out of this, use it for a couple hours and whatnot. Then you have balanced, which is actually what I would recommend you to use, even if you are more a mobility person, because this will help keep the battery living longer. So the balanced will keep the battery from going over 80%. So it will never charge more than 80%. It will start charging once it's under 70%. And then best for battery is if you don't ever go out, if you're more someone who just keeps the laptop on charge 24 seven, and you just don't care about it. you don't go out or anything. Best for battery is actually great because it stops charging at 60%, meaning it never goes over it. And it starts charging when it's under 50%. This means it tries to keep your battery at the optimal amount continuously. Because for those of you who don't know, if you charge your battery to 100% and drain it down to 0% constantly, it has going to really lessen the battery life in total. So over five years, you won't be able to, the amount of hours out of this as you would have been if you were to just keep it nice. So if you're someone who doesn't go out a lot, best for battery is best bang for buck. And you also have smart priority, which prioritizes resources depending on what it sees you using. And here it optimizes. Here it says I don't have a lot of free space, but I actually do. It's just because I have Linux installed. You also have certain diagnostics, support, and whatnot. But this is what I want to show you. It's just a very nice software center, or not software center, but um, MSI center. And I actually really love it. I do recommend if you get this to use that because it can really improve your state of using your laptop. Experience-wise, it's pretty fast. You'll not really run into any performance issues unless you know 16 gigs of RAM isn't enough for you. The CPU is great. You won't ever really need an issue or run into an issue of that either. So definitely this CPU won't ever hold you back. The GPU is an Iris XE GPU, which I think is good. I don't really play a lot of games on my laptop because I primarily use this for working, coding. 
So I never play a lot of games, but I'm assuming that is good enough to maybe play the latest Spider-Man game as an example. I'm assuming, so don't quote me on that. Cool, now let's talk about battery life, because that's probably going to be the main downside of this laptop. It doesn't have a great big battery. I use about 20 to 30% of the battery each hour. Now that's usually because I code with it, so it does go down a bit faster. I use VS Code, I run the software that should be running because I do web development, so I run a server, I use my browser constantly, and all of this. So it does take up a little bit more resources than what you would generally use. I'd say if you're not coding, if you're just using it to watch YouTube videos and whatnot, you could probably get a solid five, six hours out of this laptop before it dies from battery life. If you code with this laptop or if you do work, if you work with this laptop, I would say expect three to five hours, depending on what work you do. So the battery life isn't great, depending on how hardcore you're being on the laptop. That is one downside you should take note of is the battery life, it's okay. But it does last for how long you need it to in general. If you can go, if you're okay with five hours of battery life, then you'll be good with this. Now this laptop is actually fast enough to also run macOS, so if you install macOS, it will run it. I also have macOS on this laptop, and it's pretty good. It's not very, it's not slow, it's not sluggish, it runs okay. So basically, if you're a developer, this laptop is actually very good, because you can run macOS, you can run Linux, you can run Windows, you can run BSD, you can run basically any operating system you want, and all of its side little operating systems along with it, which you can use for development development. But it's a good laptop overall, and I would actually recommend this laptop to a, any programmer that is looking for a nice laptop. It also has dedicated buttons to mute yourself, as well as to disable the webcam, which I don't trust buttons, so I just close the webcam with a piece of tape anyways. But you can turn off the webcam with the buttons, and you can turn off the microphone with the buttons. You have your backlit, which is also controlled by the buttons. You can even switch the escape, with the escape key, F in and escape, you can even switch what these does. So now they're just F buttons. But if you press F in and escape again, now it is actual functional buttons. So this will change brightness, this will turn the LEDs on and off. And in fact, if I do that, you'll notice it's actually just pressing F8 now. But if I do this, it's working with the buttons. The trackpad is also responsive and nice. Has a nice click to it as you might be able to hear. And why not, let's actually show an example of the webcam. So this is an example of a recording, and you should be able to hear my voice, and it also seems to have an LED that flashes when you have something recording, which is very nice. So when someone is recording, you'll be able to see with that LED, or you should be able to see. And yeah, I hope this sounds pretty good, and let's stop. Now it's like 1 a.m. in the morning uh, when I'm recording this because I saw that the Linux one was a little bit weird. So I'm just also recording one on Windows because I know with default configuration, it was meant to be with Windows. So the sound and stuff might be a bit better coming from Windows. Let's hope it is. See you tomorrow. Pretty good laptop, 10 out of 10, and would recommend. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Link to this is in the description, not sponsored, and thank you all for watching.